For some things, there is no rational explanation. There is no way out. There is no happy ending to this story. Welcome to the unknown. Welcome to eternal darkness. Welcome to another video. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Sean Longstone Warren, Bob Bolt for Theme Park News and welcome to another prediction. Well, well technically it's a newsroom video, technically. Uh, it is another Alton Towers area future long term video. So for this one we're going to be taking a look at X Sector. Now this is at the back of Alton Towers, it's one of the main thrill areas of the park but it's right at the back. It contains two roller coasters and a flat ride. It used to have two flat rides, but we'll get onto that in a little bit. Uh, but before we get into it, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and go to the case bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, let's have a look at the history of X Sector for those of you who need a reminder. So let's have a look at the history of the area. So we start with our very first um, sort of indication of new attractions. Uh, so for those of you who need history on the name of the area, X Sector was initially known as Ingestra Center and originally its only attractions were the Pirate Ship and Cine 2000 along with Dinosaur World where guests could come face to face with many prehistoric beasts. In 1984, the area became Fantasy World when the black hole was installed, replacing the model dinosaurs in Dinosaur World, which were moved to the Log Flume site, of course that was then known as the Flume, then became known as the site for Wicker Man, Secret Weapon 8. Um, Turbo Start and Gravitron were installed in the area in the 1980s, but were later removed in that same decade. In 1997, something big was happening in Fantasy World, all of the rides apart from Black Hole were removed or relocated for construction to start on Secret Weapon 4. Now if you don't know anything about the Secret Weapons, uh, I'm going to get onto that in a Secret Weapon 9 video that somebody uh, suggested to do. Uh, so I'm going to do a speculation video on what I think Secret Weapon 9 could be and a few potential sites for that. Uh, so I'm going to talk all about the Secret Weapon story and in fact I may do a separate series actually called the Secret Weapon story. Uh, so I'm going to talk more about that, that but basically Secret Weapon SW means a coaster project usually. Um, and Secret Weapon 4 is Oblivion, the world's first vertical drop roller coaster. So in the words of the Alton Towers Magic Factory documentary, it takes you up to a very tall height, about 100 foot above ground. You will hang on the edge of the precipice for about 3 seconds or so, uh, and then you'll vertically plunge. <laughs> That's the words of the, I think it was the marketing director, I believe it is, can't remember. Uh, but I know somebody said it that right near the beginning of the Magic Factory documentary from BBC Learning. Don't get confused, there's two. Uh, there's marketing the theme park, the Alton Towers story, which is, I can't remember who it is, but it's different. And there's one on BBC Learning called Alton Towers Magic Factory. So uh, two very different documentaries, but both on Oblivion. That was the big project. Enterprise and Energizer. So Energizer is like a like a top spin, but sort of slanted at one of the arms. So it's sort of going round in like a uh, a diagonal circle rather than a full circle spin. Uh, so that and the classic Huss Enterprise ride, they were installed in 1998, transforming Fantasy World into X Sector. In 2001, the Energizer was moved to what was then known as Ugland, which is now the Dark Forest. That became known as Bone Shaker until that got removed uh, just a couple of years later. And replacing it uh, in the 2001 season was, of course, Submission, which was a double swing inverter ride that then closed later on. After Black Hole's closure in 2005 and the track was removed and put into storage thanks to a construction tour video that was posted for 2006 by someone online and the removal completely in 2007, the empty tent that was left behind was finally dismantled at the start of 2012 in order to make way for Secret Weapon 7, another new coaster known as the Smiler, which opened in May 2013. 
Ahead of the 2014 season, it was announced that Submission would be leaving the park, having been operating for only one arm for several years, although the specific reasons behind its removal remains unknown to this day. So most of that information came from uh, Towers Times, um, when their sort of page on uh, X Sector. But I just wanted to talk a little bit first about the attractions in the area first. So, let's first talk about the removed attractions. So, Submission, Bone Shaker, which is then known as Energizer. I didn't get the chance to do Energizer. And if you out there who did, please comment down below. But I never got the chance to do Energizer. It was, it was an interesting looking flat ride, looking at old pictures, old videos of when it was known as Bone Shaker as well. Um, so it was very interesting flat ride. Submission, I did get the chance to do a couple of times before it got removed uh, before the start of the 2014 season. Uh, and Submission is a very good flat ride for those of you who haven't, uh, who didn't have the chance to ride it. It was a very interesting flat ride. The, the, the restraints were very uh, restrictive. I know restraints, restrictive. What are you saying? Uh, but restraints sort of keep you locked in safely. But I want restraints that allow you to feel free still. These ones were quite, you know, restrictive. You had that, that middle bar as well that patted down on the big rubber bar. Um, so, you know, it was quite restrictive. But I can see why it was restrictive with the way the flat ride manoeuvred. So, obviously, if they revolutionised that type of flat ride, it would be nice to see freer restraints but more safety with them. Uh, however, I can see why they had to be that restrictive at the time because, of course, with that model as well from when it was debuted. Uh, because it was a very, very flinging flat ride. It was basically it was basically like zigzagging 360 degrees in the air and back down again. So it's a very interesting flat ride. And the fact they only ran a one arm for several years, it sort of, it sort of kind of uh, made me think of the ride's future. And of course, I had a 2014 when I found out that Submission was going. You know, it was very surprising. But again, I wasn't surprised because they only operated one arm for several years. Um, compared to its early days when it, when both arms were operating. Uh, so it was kind of sad to see the submission go, as was the likes of Ripsaw and other rising attractions at the Alton Towers Resort to go. So I was very surprised and very sad to see it go, but kind of not in a way. Uh, Enterprise, very good attraction as well. This is the operating attractions now. Enterprise, very good flat ride, good classic flat ride. I uh, did it a few times. I've done it a few times over the last few years, and it's a very good flat ride indeed. Now, the two coasters, Oblivion and Smiler, I've done as a review on Smiler. You know my thoughts on that. It's very good. It's not the best coaster in the world, but it's still a decent ride, uh, depending on where you sit as well. Uh, Oblivion, I'm not going to spoil it too much because I think I'm still yet to do a review of that, if I'm not mistaken. However, I will say that it is a good coaster. It's an all right coaster. So that is the current and past rise and attractions in X Sector, but now let's have a look towards the future. Now let's have a look at some future sites in X Sector for potential redevelopment. So let's start with da, 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 the Smiler game and the Submission Garden site. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That whole plot of land could be a brand new flat ride. It could. It could, you know. And um, there's a couple of flat rides that you could see on there. I personally think that a Zamperla Hawk, that would be a nice attraction. It would kind of pay homage to Submission, but with a modern twist. Um... If you don't know what a Zamperla Hawk is, look at Lumberjack, which is at Canada's Wonderland. It's basically, you sit in individual rows, you've got these restraints, and you sort of go up and over and up and over. It's a 360 inverting flat ride again, like Submission, but it's like, uh, instead of like these long cars, and you're sat in with these overprotective restraints, you've got the zigzag 360 spins. This is like a full, like the Enterprise when it goes vertical, a 360 degree spin vertically, uh, but you're in an arm rather than a circle carriage. So, very different experience to Enterprise, but still offers the same futuristic thrills that the area is known for. Uh, so, I think a Zampolo Hawk would be great for that area. Uh, in terms of other rides and attractions, maybe they could go along the family ride route uh, and maybe potentially decide to uh, put in a brand new family ride on that site. Maybe uh, something like. I don't know really. Um, there's a lot of flat family rides that Alton Towers have got. They've got. Uh, I mean, if they could, if they wanted to revitalize Mutiny Bay at all, maybe they could move one of the flat rides or family rides from there and move it into X Sector. Maybe Heave Ho, you know, retheme it to um, like a futuristic ship and, and sort of theme it all up or 
maybe theme it up to look like the the marmalizer and theme it to the Ministry of Joy and theme it to Smiler as a like an extra testing device or like an extra um, test in the sanctuary. So like test six, the invert it, the invertigos uh, or the invert invertizer invertizer something like that. I don't know. I'm thinking too much on the spot here. But I think something like a Zampola Hawk or a family ride, either relocated from another area or a new family ride from scratch, would be good for that area. Let's have a look at our next site combination, and that is Enterprise and the Submission Garden. Now, I personally believe uh, that they could use the whole Enterprise area, as well as the queue line, to create a new site for a flat ride. Now, this won't be for a good few years yet because Enterprise recently got its essential maintenance, its extended maintenance. They painted the signs with a black and green and they got it all spruced up around there and they introduced the Ministry of Joy into the queue line with the fencing, writing and stuff like that. There was like a new sign put on there or something uh, to theme it up with the Ministry of Joy. Uh, I think it's a new sign or some kind of like refurbished sign. But I know it went under extensive maintenance this time last season. So, you know, it, it's it's gone through the mill. Obviously, that hasn't stopped Alton Towers in the past with the blade going uh, a year after it went through its big maintenance and big rebuild and we thought oh it's gonna be here for the next few years and then it's SBNO again so you know obviously it's not impossible to, to get rid of Enterprise so soon after an extensive maintenance and refurbishment but I personally believe that Enterprise is a completely different story especially if you look at the you look at 2013 when they replaced the original ride system uh, with an updated Hus Enterprise ride system so it was very much an updated model and then the maintenance stuff last year as well so I think Enterprise is here to stay for a good few years yet so I think when the time Enterprise goes I think fill that whole area including the old queue line and build a brand new queue line in the submission garden for a Zamperla Endeavour you guys knew where this was going theme it up nice and well make it look permanent maybe turn it into the, um, like a Smiler theme again so get rid of the green, turn it into a black and yellow ride, make it look permanent, put the smiler face or like the the yellow and black hypnosis thing on the top. Uh, obviously make sure it doesn't actually hypnotise people when you're watching off the ride, you're just looking at, ooh, I'm in your trance. <laughs> um, but no, I think a Zampilla Endeavour would work very, work? I've gone German. Would work very, very well at that site, especially if you use the Submission Garden as a potential queue option. Now let's see what happens when you combine all three sites, and I personally think that you could definitely theme this site up for a brand new flat ride. And I've got a perfect type of flat ride that will be well in with the height barrier. Obviously Alton Towers, if you didn't know, if you haven't watched past Alton Towers videos that I've set it in, uh, you, you won't know this, but they do have a height restriction. They're in a conservation area. They can't go higher than the trees. That's why you can't see any of the rides past the tree height. So you have to dig down for a really tall ride. Same with the Smiler. Reason why Nemesis is in a pit. Reason why Oblivion's got a massive drop in a black hole of Oblivion. Ah, see the pun. Uh, <laughs> but um, I think they're going to dig a little bit down and they're going to use that whole site, possibly the Submission Memorial Garden, the Smiler game and the Enterprise ride and bring in a Frisbee ride. Something like Cyclonator at Poulton's Park. I look at that and I think, wow, that's going to be a great fit for Alton Towers in my opinion. Now, obviously that kind of ride would fit very nicely in other sites in the park. So maybe the Blade site or somewhere else in the park. Maybe Dark Forest if they expanded it a little bit more. But I think that you know this would be a good site for the site for a cyclonator type flat ride as well. So something like a frisbee ride, not too high, not going to go above the tree height. You dig deep, deep, deep down. Uh, I think if they didn't go for a frisbee ride, again you'd be looking at a Zampola Endeavour to fill the Enterprise slot. Uh, so I think it's between those two. I think the Zampola Hawk for the Memorial Garden and Smiler Game site. I think that's just too thin for such a big site. So I think that it's just between the. Uh, frisbee ride and the endeavor finally then all three plus oblivion now oblivion is the uh b and dive coaster the world's first vertical drop coaster secret weapon four name it however you want uh but this one is going to be very 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 interesting now I personally believe that we could see an updated dive coaster model. Now, whether that means a complete retracking uh, of Oblivion past the drop, so instead of it overbanking to the left into the brake run, maybe it sort of does a, a loop 
uh, and you can work it round where near Smiler is and then work it back round again. So like an extended layout. Um, so it potentially could involve brand new trains, a, a complete retracking of the ride. So, you know, this ride will be closed for about a year and the whole sort of back end of X Sector up like past the Smiler entrance would be closed for about a year for this to happen. For it to be completely retracked with a brand new extended layout at the end. With brand new trains, brand new track. If they're going to do that whole refurbishment process, that would take, you know, well over a year. It would open, it would probably close about summertime uh, of one season and then reopen this, that, that time next year. So it'd be exactly a year's amount of worth or maybe even more. You know, if it closed at Scarefest, then maybe you could do about a year's worth of work. And it could be open uh, by the summer. Or you never know, it could be closed for a couple of years if they wanted to do this. And open it in two years' time, or exactly two years' time. Uh, so, that's one route they could go down. Now, of course, if you know about the Design Your Map as part of the Alton Towers Resort 40th birthday celebrations, that I'm sure is going to continue into next year when the park officially reopens uh, for a full new season. Uh you'll know about the design your own map uh, you'll know about the creator options on there you see like the underground coast at crypt for dark forest again that looks really really cool um there is potential that you could see an indoor water coaster i mean if the reimagining of valhalla goes down well maybe they decide to go along that route with an intamin indoor water dart ride uh that could be a potential option that could go down or it could just be no retracking or anything like that and just generally maintain the whole area. Just spruce it up a bit. Maybe shorten the queue. I think, I can't remember the name, but someone told me in a forum, shout out to you if you're watching, that you can shorten the queue um, of Oblivion and you can put a nice uh, flat ride in there um, or stretch it along there, potentially. Uh, so I can't remember your name, but big shout out to you. Um, and I was just thinking actually, I didn't circle this site, but if you sort of shorten the queue of Oblivion and you stretch that site along with the Submission Memorial Garden, the Smiler game, uh, and maybe even Enterprise as well, if you move Enterprise to a different area or if Enterprise has had its time, maybe you could fit a free spin coaster or something quite compact like a Premier Skyrocket 2. Something quite compact, maybe, to uh, not to block out Oblivion's skyline, but imagine when you're on the Oblivion Blade Run and you see this coaster at the top right next to you and you wave at the ride as it's about to go down. That would be a pretty cool element to the ride, wouldn't it? Especially a new element on Oblivion as well. Uh, so there we go. So that is my potential options then for X Sector in the long term future. Again, comment down below your own ideas. Do you have any dark ride suggestions? Family ride, thrill ride, coaster suggestions? When is the next coaster in X Sector? Is it going to replace Oblivion? Is it going to be round oblivion is it going to replace smiler i mean probably not but if you can think of any other coaster sites in x sector that doesn't involve tearing out oblivion or smiler or it don't matter about enterprise but if you can find a site that don't tear down any of the rides and just tears down the smiler game maybe at most then please let me know because i'd be struggling to find one at this rate uh but thank you very much guys for watching this video i hope you liked the little uh intro in the beginning a bit of a parody on the oblivion advert promo thing uh, <laughs> but thank you very much guys for watching this theme park newsroom update on the long term future of X Sector, please like, comment, subscribe and for now guys, keep on the coast of life my name is Coaster Child and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon, take care guys have an awesome day my friends